Um, well, it's a strange roundabout story. My parents came down here um, before I was born uh, to work as actors in a theatre and um, they kept talking about Cornwall. I always remember them talking about it as a sort of wonderful mythical place where everyone was creative. And then they didn't go, th they didn't go to, uh, they didn't come to live in Cornwall. Instead, they um, went over to America. And um, years later, I just felt more and more drawn to this place. It was quite a, you know, gradual, a gradual thing. I do most of my painting in the studio, but I, whenever I go away or, or just, just walk out on the, on the coast path, I like to take, take my sketchbook and just really just line and charcoal. Um, I don't tend to take a full set of paints out. It, it's just very, very quick things, which sometimes can be just as good as spending a long time over a very laboured drawing. Yeah, yeah. Everything that's outside comes inside and into your work. It's, it's not really, um, it isn't a conscious process, but um, just the, the light coming into the room, the, the sounds from the beach, the sea being constantly there. There are never two days the same. Um, so, although I'm not looking at the sea all the time, it, it has a sort of calming effect. And um, there is a sort of suspended time here which, which helps you to focus. Um, and it's like being on a boat or a train, a journey, so that you, you're just able to, to work. No, well, I love working with all sorts of different brushes, and this is a this is a beautiful one, this Oriental brush, which I've used. You can see some of these marks here um, are are to do with that brush. Um, and what I do is um, I spray the canvas. This is cotton cotton duck uh, with with water. So my my paints at the moment are water based, and then the it allows the the paint to flow. So it's a very fluid way of a calligraphic work. It's almost a sort of notation, which I like in, um, in Oriental art. I think colour's always been very central to my work. Um, I mean, in my, in my earlier figurative work at, at art school, um, it always played a big part. Um, but it wasn't really the thing that they liked at Camberwell, where I, where I went. Um, but still, I, I had to believe, you know, I, I loved Matisse and Bonnard and, and all the great colourists, um, and I went on. Even a small amount of colour um, in the right place can just change a painting and activate all the, all the shapes around it. I started with, in fact, over there where the sun was coming in, and these marks are relating this diagonal slant, it's relating to the, the path of the of the sun coming in, at, in in summer when it in the evenings, and quite often a bit of colour put here can throw everything else around. It's really just trying to get get a balance in the end. It's